Power Rangers Cosmic Fury premieres September 29th on Netflix, and I was able to watch it early thanks to Hasbro and Netflix. I'm gonna try and give a general review without giving away any spoilers. Here we go. This season has brand new suits, original footage for those suits. <clears throat> Zords, <laughs> which are from the Sentai Q Ranger or Uch or Uchu Sentai Q Ranger. The Rangers use those Zords to fight off Lord Zed who who has a new fleet of villains by his side. Amelia gets promoted from the Pink Ranger up to the first ever female Red Ranger. And before she gets the promotion, when times are rough, she gives great advice to her teammates. Zato goes from being the Red Ranger to the Zenith Ranger. And the story he has throughout the season is really interesting, to say the least. The season also includes appearances from Billy Cranston, the original MMPR Blue Ranger, as well as Mick Canick from Ninja Steel and Heckle, who you may remember as the Keeper of the Dark Energy from Dino Supercharge. And in the comics, he's considered the Dark Ranger. Who knows, he may or may not use a suit. The story overall is pretty good, and the suits they use, I understand the reason for using the original suits instead of Sentai suits. Q, Q Ranger suits are mainly a space theme. Q Ranger suits mainly... Q Ranger suits are mainly space themed. Which it would make sense to use since the Dino Fury Rangers go out into space. But while this season is using a space theme, it's also the third season of Dino Fury. A continuation and meaning they would have to meaning they would use an evolutionized version of the suits. If that may, word makes sense. I don't think it would have made sense to use the Q Ranger suits, but that's only just my opinion. Surprisingly, the Groot. <laughs> the suits grew on me. I kind of like them. The season uses elements from other seasons of Power Rangers in a really interesting way. I'll let everyone see why I say this when the season premieres on September 29th. Cosmic Fury is fun. It's great. It pulls off a story within 10 episodes. There are some stuff I would like to see. Or, there are some stuff that I would have liked to see. But overall, it's a more phenomenal season. Also, if you do plan to watch the season, I recommend skipping some opening sequences. The main reason, it changes quite a bit. This was my general non-spoiler review for the, the, the This was my general non-spoiler review for Cosmic Fury. If I had to give this season a rating, probably a 4.5 out of 5. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment and subscribe.